Honestly, I feel like I'm coming out of retirement for this because if you didn't know, this whole YouTube channel was started on the premise of Halloween costumes. Like Becky and I met in college, became friends, wanted to do a Halloween costume together as best friends, and we couldn't find any inspo on the internet that we really liked. So we made this video. Hi. <laughs> and it just kept going from there. Every year we would do lots of Halloween costumes until we kind of slowly did it. Because it kind of seemed like people were a little less interested in Halloween, maybe especially with the pandemic years. But I'm so excited about this idea because it is taking things that I already have in my closet, you already have in your closet, other people already have in their closet, and turning those into some pretty cool, hopefully, Halloween costumes. We're gonna put them together today. Together. Together, we're gonna put them together today. These are the perfect, lazy, and sustainable Halloween girl hacks. And I'll let you know at the end of the video what I'm gonna be for Halloween. You might regret it, honestly. It might be one of those costumes you look back on in like five years and be like, why did I do that? Why did I do that? So first up, we have the classic white dress shirt. For this one, I think the first thing that comes to all of our minds is Risky Business, Tom Cruise sliding in. Also, have I ever seen Risky Business? I feel like I have, because I have seen this scene, but like I don't remember any of the rest of the movie. But I'm sure you have all of the things you need for this costume. You have your white dress shirt, I would wear some shorts underneath, some socks, and he looks like he has a candlestick. His microphone is a candlestick, so we're, we're gonna add in a candlestick too. Along the movie lines, we have Mia Wallace from Pulp Fiction. This would be a good couple's costume as well, but this is super easy. You just need to add some black pants. She does wear bare feet for some of it, but I think she also wears black flats, which I don't know if I have. I'll find something. This works great if you already have black hair. If not, maybe you have a wig. I definitely have a whole trunk of wigs. Throw on some red lipstick, a faux or real, don't smoke. <laughs> Cigarette will help also sell this. Twist. Pandemic costumes make me a little sad, but this one is a really easy one. You just need to throw on your white dress shirt, some kind of blazer or just something to dress you up on top. Do you just wear sweatpants on the bottom? And you are a classic work from home, Zoom call ready look. I love it when people do a Britney Spears costume from any of her iconic outfits. Every time I see somebody dressed up as Britney, it just, it warms my heart. I feel like obviously this year is even a bigger year for Britney. Let's go with the classic Britney Spears. With the white dress shirt, we can do a Hit Me Baby outfit. Her skirt was actually, I think, just a, like a black skirt, which I do have a black skirt, but I think that my schoolgirl skirt sells it a little bit better, so I'm gonna use that one. She's also wearing some knee highs. Of course, we gotta complete it with the pigtails. DIY something to represent the little pink pom-poms and pull on some kind of cardigan. But let me know, which Britney would you want to be if you could be Britney? Like snake Britney, red jumpsuit Britney's good Britney. But also like a girl group of Britney's so iconic. It's a good group costume. And last up for a white dress shirt option is Mary Poppins. This one's so cute. You just need some red to represent a bow tie, a black bag, black skirt, black tights, black shoes, an umbrella. Wow, what a great costume if it's supposed to be raining. Gloves. Black hat really sells it if you have something that works. And it's just, it's cute and wholesome. Also a good couples or group costume. I just stole this hat from Becky. It was just at the office. And she's wearing way shorter gloves, but I have long ones from my dance days, so. Okay, while we're going through all these ideas, I think it is important we talk about a few tips when it comes to Halloween costumes. First of all, everything in this video, all these costumes I'm putting together are either pieces that I already owned, that I'm borrowing from my friends or family, that I'm DIYing, or that I'm thrifting. So I'm not gonna buy anything new for this video 
or to create these costumes because I think Halloween can be very wasteful so we want to do it in as much of a sustainable way as possible without having to buy a bunch of new things that we are not going to wear ever again. Thinking about your Halloween costume early is going to give you the best chance to make it the most sustainable, the least stressful, and also renting things. I rented these boots last year when I was a disco ball and then my boyfriend went as like somebody from the 70s. His shoes were also rented so we didn't have to buy anything we were just able to rent them. Make sure you're leaning into your face makeup. I feel like you can take a simple outfit and just really amp it up by what you're putting on your face or able to do with some makeup. So don't sleep on the face makeup. Even if you don't usually do it, like I don't like doing makeup and I don't think I'm good at it, but this is the one time of the year we should try a little bit. And of course, if you need more inspo, you can check out all of the old videos. We have last minute costumes, we have full in depth costumes, we have old couples costumes, probably shouldn't shout that out, but I did. Yeah, lots of Halloween costume content here on the Sorry Girls that is there for you guys to check out. And it'll all be linked below. Next up, the handkerchief or scarf, silk scarf, something like that that you have in your closet. There are some fun ideas I came up with that you can make using the scarf. I guess not using just the scarf, but like the scarf is our inspiration. So first up we have a flight attendant. So for this one, I'm using a suit that I have that I thrifted. Obviously just like a skirt and any kind of blazer situation, button up would look great. We're using our scarf around our neck in this moment. And you can add on some pantyhose, a little heel, something to complete your flight attendant look. If you have any like pin, like any pin that would kind of like work, I would add that. Bonus points if you are going to a party and you carry around some drinks. That'll be $10. Oh, and you definitely gotta slick your hair back for this one. They're always doing a ponytail or a bun or something. Rosie the Riveter is another classic, timeless look and so easy to do. She's wearing a lot of denim on denim. I feel like also a jumpsuit would work. It's really holding your arm in that position is really gonna sell it as well as our scarf on the top of our head tied up. I love the idea of a prior. It just feels so like comfy, cozy, cool, chill. Could be sexy if you want it to be sexy, which I know is important to a lot of people on Halloween. For this one, I'm pulling a lot of things out of my closet. Like you can do anything that has like puffy sleeves, billowy sleeves, big sleeves. Corsets are obviously the vibe. I feel like big baggy skirts or I have big baggy pants is part of the vibe. Maybe a little bit of like a little work boot. They seem to wear boots on ships, which I mean, I would probably wear sandals, but that's them. Um, that's us. Adding any jewelry. I feel like pirates have a lot of jewelry to wear. And then of course we're wearing our scarf over our head this time, tying it around the back, a, cl a classic look. If you have belts, you can add the belts. I don't really have that many belts. Another way we can wear our handkerchief is in a cowgirl, cow person outfit. Lots of denim. I have cow print pants maybe. We could do flannel. If you have a cowboy hat, you're gonna really help to sell it. Cowboy boots, any kind of boots. And we're wearing our scarf around our neck again. Cowgirl Kelsey. Uh, so if you didn't know, we stream weekly on Twitch. That's what you're seeing happening right here. And make sure you guys stay to the end of the video because I have a special party invite for you. And then lastly, we could do a hippie 70s decade moment outfit. And for this one, you know the decade. You can wear so many different things for this outfit. You can go the bell bottoms, the flare pants, if you have like leather or suede or fringe, florals. I think you guys know this decade. Obviously, I had to ask Becky to borrow some 70s items. Am I the background of all these vlog clips? Thanks, Becky. Oh Maybe. Hi. <laughs> Maybe some of them. <laughs> Find some things in your closet that work. And again, we're gonna wear this on our head to kind of bring out that 70s moment. I feel like long straight hair is also a vibe for this. If you, if you have it, if you have the hair. It's weird how much we actually just have in our closet. I just can't not sway. <laughs> such a sway vibe. 
Next up, the little black dress. This one has a lot of good classic outfits tied to it. Of course, we have Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's. I think you don't even need all the accessories to sell this, but a little kitchen heel, your hair in a bun, pearls. These pearl earrings are literally from Tiffany's. How on brand? They're from an ex, but that doesn't matter, right? Jewelry is forever. Sunglasses, maybe a croissant. I had to go get croissants today. I just had to. All of these things are gonna help sell the outfit, but even if you're missing a few of these places, I think you're still gonna nail it. Pearls are good to have them. It's so good. Okay, I honestly thought a witch was too basic to include, but I saw this picture of Kendall Jenner and I just thought she looked just very elegant and I was like, wait, maybe witches aren't overrated. I'm adding this like sheer bodysuit that I have with my dress to change up the look a little bit. And then I think if you have a good hat or DIY good hat, borrow a hat, then we can really sell this look. When I tell you I'm taking a hat and sew to cone or glue to cone and I will make it a witch hat. And tell me why this looks better than any witch's hat I've ever owned. What? A little bit of makeup, you can have fun with it. Add a belt, you could be like a witch but make it everyday outfit. There's lots of options with witch and I think we can redeem it. It doesn't have to be basic and boring anymore. It can be just kind of like cool and effortless. Thanks for the inspo, Kylie. <laughs> Kendall, thanks for the inspo, Kendall. Do you guys know the movie Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt. This would obviously be an amazing couple's costume, but with that little black dress, you really just need like the garter thing, which I'm gonna try to use a headband for. Obviously, I would not bring around any type of real looking weapon on Halloween, but you can have fun with it. Maybe it's a piece of cardboard <laughs> like mine. Um, good enough. And it's such an easy outfit and you get your vampiness. The Addams Family has never gone out of style when it comes to Halloween, but we do have a new Wednesday in town with the new Netflix show. Her dress is a little bit different from mine, so I'm trying to like make some alterations in order to make my dress look like her dress, so maybe adding a black sweater, a collar to really help sell my Wednesday look. Obviously the braids are also gonna help sell it, but I think this is such an easy classic costume and it's even more relevant this year. We have done Medusa a long time ago on our channel, so we actually have a full tutorial on how to do a headband, but obviously there's so many different ways you could make or buy or rent a Medusa headband. Does Medusa have eight snakes? Is it always eight snakes? 13 snakes. God damn it. Do I have to do 13? and I think you can just pair it with any black clothing you have. I'm trying to go for something that has flowy arms because I feel like that's a little bit more classic Medusa. I, maybe I'm just making it up, but I picture the flowy arms, so. Layer on some black, make it cute, make it glamorous, and it's such an easy last minute costume. I love it. Next up, we have our leopard item and this can be like anything that's leopard print these costumes should work if you have like almost anything as long as it's like shirt and or pant related that is leopard and if you have even more things outside of that you're just gonna really nail these costumes wait why do i have so much leopard like actually <laughs> what so first up we have scary spice we're wearing our leopard print we're layering it up i'm adding my chunky boots I have a karaoke microphone that I'm adding. And of course we need to do like the scary buns. Those are so, so classic. Sometimes she wears like cute little sunglasses too. Very 90s. 
And that's our, our Scary Spice look. Obviously, I don't need to say this, but great group costume. This would be like a life goal for me, to be a Spice Girls group costume. Speaking of pop stars, Shania Twain, another iconic leopard print wearing woman. Uh, for this one, I'm adding some black flare pants that I have and keeping that microphone, adding some red lipstick. And I do have a cowboy hat, so why not throw that into the mix? Flintstones, or I guess it could be like cave woman, cave person, but I kind of like the idea of Flintstones a little bit better is another one you can wear with leopard print. So I think, what's the kid's name? Is it like Penny? Flint's Penny. Penny? Pebbles! Oh my god. Okay, yeah, Pebbles is adorable. This is such an easy costume. We really just need like a bone type of element for the hair accessory. And then I, I think it's pretty easy. Again, couples, group costume, you're good to go. But also easy last minute if you want to go solo. Yabba dabba, yabba dabba doo! <laughs> This one might be too obvious, but you could just be like a leopard or a cat. <laughs> just DIY, make some ears, and use some face paint, and you're a cute little leopard. I was also thinking Snow Leopard would be a great costume. Obviously, a lot of us probably don't have like white leopard print, but I thought it'd be a good costume. And then I thought I was spiraling and I thought that doing like animals would be a sick group costume. So it's like you have a leopard, you have a panther, you have a snow leopard, you have a lion. Those are all, are they all cats? I guess they are. I mean, I don't know, it's pretty cool, I like it. Okay, and lastly, I was trying to think of something to round out my leopard section. In my Halloween research, I came across this photo of Katy Perry dressed up as a Cheeto, which I thought was so amazing. So I think you could be on the leopard note, take your leopard costume, and then just add some sunglasses and maybe some more orange accents and carry around some Cheetos and you're like the Cheetos leopard dude. Okay, I bought these new. Do we like it? I kinda like it. It's kind of good. It's a good spin on your basic cat. Your basic leopard cat. Oh my god. Can you believe this is the last category we have? And it is overalls. Do you own overalls? Yes or no? But if you do, there are some pretty good costumes that you can be. Chucky, a classic. Just throw on any striped shirt that you have. If you have red running shoes or Converse, then you are way ahead of the game, but I don't, so this is what I came up with. Wear your overalls, which mine are my painting overalls, but I don't know how much that matters, especially because Chucky's overalls are like a little dirty. Obviously, red or orange hair is really gonna help to sell this costume and some face makeup a little bit, but in the end, Chucky, easy. Chucky. Don't carry around real weapons, that's all I have to say. Speaking of paint on my overalls, I was inspired by this, and maybe you could just be a painter. Just hold a paintbrush or a roller, and you are a painter. Do you need a paint job? Is that too last minute? That's like last minute level, you have five minutes. You are not getting into the party unless you're wearing something. So bring a paintbrush and wear some overalls. Potentially our most iconic overall wearing character, Mario or Luigi. I have a little bit more, well I have green and red. I could be Mario or Luigi. Throw on a red shirt, throw on a green shirt. The hat is the harder part. You might have to find DIY or make it, or even just using a cap, like a ball cap I think is better than nothing. Andrea says you must only talk in an Italian accent this whole time. Is that allowed? <laughs> I'm emphasizing my buttons with some yellow here, and you're pretty much good to go. You have gloves, that's great too. 
Of course, with our overalls, we think of the classic farmer. You can throw in some flannel, a straw hat, some boots. Farmer Speed Cities. And then this one might be a little bit niche, but did you guys see that movie X, which I thought was so good? There's the main character in it and she wears overalls. It's definitely a little bit more risque, but you throw on a handkerchief bandana on the hair. You're really just wearing overalls at this point or some kind of like nude bandeau cover and carrying around in faux axe, ideally. And you're the girl from X. If you haven't seen that movie, I recommend it. But it is like not PG and it's also a horror movie. So it's not for everybody. Okay, those are some pretty good ideas, I think, that you can make out of things that are already in your closet. Another classic clothing item is the pleather pant legging. I'm sure a lot of us have this and there's a lot of things that you can do with it. That might be the basis for my costume this year, which is Shrek in the sky. If you don't know what that is, there's this filter on TikTok where Shrek is like dancing, twerking, in the sky. I kind of love how weird it is. I think combining like weird and like kind of sexy on Halloween is a recipe for success. So I want to be Shrek in the sky, which I don't know how I'm going to do. I'm going to need to find a lot of pleather, thrift some pleather. Maybe I can rent a suit if that's possible. And then we have the face makeup. Will I regret this guys? The problem is we're having a party for Halloween in celebration of our 12 year anniversary and just it being Halloween. I mean, I wanna be this, but then I'm gonna be at a party like green faced. Is this a smart idea? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and then also, I think it'd be sick if my partner was Lord Farquaad because he kind of looks like Lord Farquaad sometimes. So that would be like a weird kind of cool group couples costume. Speaking of that Halloween party, we are planning to stream it live on Twitch. That's gonna be October. 28th in the evening EST time. Make sure you're following us over on Twitch so that you don't miss that, but it should be a good time. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below what you're gonna be for Halloween, and if you have any other ideas that work for these different categories of costumes, because I'm sure there are some that I missed. That would be awesome costumes. So, let me know, I'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching, and if you need more Halloween inspo, here's where to find it. It's this channel, spoiler alert. <laughs> Just might have to go back a couple of years. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Have a happy and safe Halloween. Welcome back to another episode of That Cause How Much. That Cause How Much. Halloween, Halloween costume edition. Now this one is $65 and it's pretty simple.